All right, so time to time we are modeling the slow poly scene. We already did a lot. And there's low poly tent, low poly fireplace with this animation, low poly stones, low poly eggs. So check my channel if you want to find out how I did that. So all right, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this low poly grass. All right, let's go. Shift A mesh, let's add cube, scale it with S button on the keyboard. All right, and maybe let's scale it on the Z axis. All right, I have a low poly, low poly stick, G, X to move it. All right, I want to subdivide this object into several pieces so let's go to edit mode and control r on the keyboard let's add uh, several cuts all right so right now cuts are made also my proportion editing option is enabled all right that i want with add select tool actually i can control a little bit uh, a form of this object g and move it to any side because we don't want that this object would be perfect straight. We want to make something like grass. All right, so I have actually the grass form. All right, also what I want to do uh, to make this the top of this object more sharp, so with Face select mode, let's select the top part of this object and scale it. But as you can see right now, I'm scaling only the top part of this object, but I want to scale also neighbor faces. So let's increase the circle of the proportion editing with the middle mouse button. I can increase the power of proportion editing all right and if i try to scale right now actually i'm scaling all also all neighbor faces and right now we're getting like the sharp form of this object all right so we have actually the grass form so how we can add color let's add color new and let's go to add uh, shading mode also mm, we can add uh, uh, use the same method as we have used for low poly stones to uh, add some varieties of colors and variations of colors all right so let's do the same uh, first Let's add object info. There is an option random, which allows to randomize colors for all separate objects. And also we need color ramp to add variations uh, of colors. So let's add a few cuts. And also we need actually a green color for the grass let's add another green color let's add another one maybe like that and also uh, we can control how much of green color appears on the uh, different objects if you want to that the the most color would be the uh, this one green so you should increase the width of this tab all right so i want to make equal parts all right and let's connect random to fact and color to base color all right as you can see we painted this grass 
and also I think we need to increase a little bit redness, decrease actually to make it more shiny. All right, so I have this grass piece, but let's add another to make some different shift D. As you can see right now, uh, another piece of grass uh, has another color. So object info and random option is working fine. Uh, R Z to scale uh, to rotate it a little bit. All right. So let's try to make something not uh, so similar to this one. So I can actually with G button and let's decrease proportion editing like a little bit. And I like that I can do like a broken leaf. Move it down also the bottom of this part I can move it to any side and not uh, make not so perfect as this straight one and actually I have another grass piece so uh, also we can make like grease branch just shift D to duplicate and also uh, in edit mode you can try to for example scale it and to make something smaller or bigger one or add another cut there and try to modify the base mesh also it is very helpful if you uh, decided to join meshes objects Ctrl J to join, but as you can see right now, I have actually the one object because I joined these two leaves together, but colors are not uh, randomized. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and See you next time.